All right, hello. I am going to show how to do a recording with your HoloLens. Now, I'm actually using a program called XSplit to do this. There's also a program called Open Broadcast um, that you could use. It might be Open Broadcast System. Um, I've had XSplit for quite a while, and I uh, actually just bought a, a lifetime uh, subscription to it so anyway it's what I'm comfortable with what I like using um, but <clears throat> one way to record with your HoloLens is to actually stream it to your Windows 10 PC and then use a software program like Camtasia, XSplit, OBS um, to then record what is being streamed so this is XSplit um, on a monitor now I can go and go to my center monitor and this here is the Microsoft HoloLens application. Okay, uh, so this is a Windows 10 Universal app, and you'll see that I've <coughs> connected it to my HoloLens. Now my HoloLens is currently off, so I can go and turn that guy on. And when I turn him on, you'll uh, that thing will turn blue, and I'll be able to connect to him. I'm actually the sound you're hearing is me expanding out the hall in so I can put it on. Uh, so I can actually click on that. Put on my hall in itself. Right. Um, and then I can actually hit live stream. Now on this live stream, now on this live what, stream I can also do, what I can also do and so I'm going to do so we don't, so get, this do echo. So we don't get this echo. So what I just did is I cut off the microphone to the HoloLens. So the HoloLens is no longer getting um, the recording. It's no longer recording my voice from the HoloLens because I'm using my, I'm actually using the microphone on here, which is using my uh, Blue Yeti microphone, okay? So um, with that, let me go back over here to my center monitor. And you can see that I'm since I'm looking at the monitor now, we're kind of getting this really cool uh, stereo effect. Okay, um, but what I'm going to do here is actually make it go full screen. I'm just going to look at it over here. <laughs> it's kind of interesting to do it this way. <clears throat> but now you can see what I'm seeing through the hall lens, which is me looking at my monitors. Okay. So here's my left monitor that I'm looking at with XSplit recording my center monitor, which is showing my hologram in front of here. And just so it's a little bit clearer, I'm going to um, bring up the holograms itself. And place that like right there. And hmm, I don't know. Let's see. Why not grab a hamster? I can spin it. Hmm. Okay. And now I can have this menu here. This is my little hologram. So now I have a mouse or a hamster, rather, in the wheel uh, suspended over my workspace. But this is one way <clears throat> that I can record the HoloLens. So now I'm going to show you a separate way. Hey, Cortana. Hey, Cortana. Take a video. Take a video. And it told me I can bloom when I'm and done. It told me I can bloom when I'm done. All right, so now I'm actually recording uh, with the HoloLens. See my hamster here again. This is uh, through the HoloLens itself, so I'm not streaming. Uh, in fact, you can actually see my HoloLens app here, and you see my X split, um, but it's not recording or anything. Um, and so what I'll do is what I'm going to display this is I'll
put this video plus one I just record it um, to into the same video okay so I'm going to take the one I just did and this one uh, from the HoloLens put them together edit them a little bit and and show you the difference between uh, recording through uh, the desktop where it's being streamed versus recording directly in the HoloLens and then uploading the video uh, from the HoloLens. And the way you do that is by actually going to Photos and Video. Clicking on Photos and Video here on this on this guy. So Photos Video. And then it will show you all the different photos and videos that you have. Okay, And I can go and then, you know, uh, select whatever and then hit download if I wanted to. Okay. All right. And then to exit out from recording, I can just. All right. So now um, I'm hoping that that made sense to you. If I didn't, you know, if, if something didn't quite click, uh, let me know and I'll try to do a better job at explaining it. Um, boils down, there's two ways. One way is you stream it to your computer and use some kind of software to record what's on your computer. You know, and obviously, whether it's a, a game or a video console going to a, a monitor or anything like that, you can use use that uh, same method to record that. Okay, it's just HoloLens provides a way to stream to a PC, which is kind of nice. Second way uh, is a little easier, and that is just ask Cortana to record it for you. Say, hey Cortana, take a video, and she will. She'll record uh, both real world and augmented reality, so the whole mixed reality, um, and you'll get them both in there okay so hopefully that made sense to you um, if not let me know and I'll try to do better and explain it boils down there's two ways to record uh, from your HoloLens one is you stream it to your PC and use software to then record that stream and the second way is just to ask Cortana to record it for you okay hope this is helpful uh, if so let me know and if I can make it better just let me know that as well thanks